Okay, so today I have a Hoover Wind Tunnel 3 Pro upright. The bin, as you can see, is packed past its fill line, which is right here. So we're about an inch all the way around, and here is pretty bad too. Let's take this off. You can see the filter is so bad that dust has gotten past the filter and is coming out on here. I'm just gonna run my finger along. You can see that? And then there's another filter down here, which definitely will need to be replaced, my goodness. And there's actually hair on it. That's a new for me. So let's check the brush. Yeah. Let's see if the belt is good. Let's refine it. Yeah, mechanism works. Alright, let's take this thing apart. worn so that will need oh how did that happen the crack right here yeah that's good we need a new one it's worn down pretty thin so the brush roll it has hair but let's see if it spins correctly yep bearings are fine so this I'm not even gonna bother trying to clean that that's just not gonna be clean and this isn't washable either so you can't wash these in water so that will probably go in the trash. Looks okay, that looks okay. I guess it's all right. Let's take this, oh, what is that? Oh, that's a, there's a spider living in here, oh man. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. Oh yeah, there's spider legs in there. Like, the, the, the spider molted up in here. There's pro he's probably still alive. I don't know. I'd have to take it apart and see. <laughs> Let's see if the cord rewinder works. Just pull it out a little bit. It's pretty slow. So this is how you fix them as you pull them pretty far. It's a little slow as you can. So you hold this down and you just pull. And you just pull getting better so let's yeah I'm just gonna take a little bit of this but we will make sure that the spring is better so let's put it back in and just pull it out fully Take some work, but we can get that fixed. So you can see, just have this foam exhaust filter right here. This might come off. <laughs> yeah, this should come off. Yep, now this is off. That can be washed. Cord rewinders right here. Yeah, the spring looks fine. Back here. Can be cleaned. <coughs> so this. Oh goodness, that is pretty tight. Alright, got it. Right in here. No plugs. Oh, it's dusty though, but that's alright. This back part here. Another screw. That's new for me. I've never seen one with two. Clogs. No, there's not. 
tell that looks pretty fine. I will dump this out and get ready to wash. All right, back at the sink, got this foam filter. Spray a little bit of green on it. Let it sit for a minute. Wait. So we have this dirt canister filter right here. I'm gonna go take this hair off. <clears throat> probably wash this off before um, or not wash it off but vacuum it out with this other machine before I wash it so let's do this so here we go you see just being vacuumed it's pretty white already but it's there's still a lot of dirt deep inside of it so we're going to treat it to uh, just detergent and a little simple green. Don't get really clean after this. So we'll start with water. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Most people just wash filters in water, but just water doesn't clean vacuum filters very well. Detergent's got to be applied for a true clean. Here's this foam filter. Some orange dish soap to clean it. Alright. See all this coming out of it. We'll just run some pretty hot water to get this clean. This is gonna take some work. Oh my goodness. It's already coming really clean now. Let's apply some more detergent. Get some dawn, I'll give it a bath and then it's just a remnant of a bottle. Still more dirt coming through. Just giving it a really good squeeze. You can see the foam is turning brown. The cyclone on these only works if the bin is emptied on time. Just like with every bagless machine. That's one for anyone who doesn't want to maintain filters, I recommend a bag machine, <coughs> such as an orc. Because all they need the bag replacement here and there because the bags are huge and it takes forever to fill one. Still getting dirt out. Let's give it another bath and some more dish soap. Alright, so I will go dump the bin and wash that. Alright, dirt bin's here. Put this filter right here. Clone. There it is. The dog Max is dropping here. Getting a little dirt.
that is what I can now. One Dyson with exposed dogs. Now, it's a feed of. Oh, what is that? I wonder what that was. dirt coming out of this filter. Not much though. Thank you. 
more parts of this machine that we can clean. Set up the drive stage. All right, so I'm here with the wind tunnel three's cord. So well, you can see there's pretty bad cord damage right here, and if I can show right there, you can see there's bare wire exposed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the where the damage is, right down here. Ask the owner. I'm going to snip it right here, right about in here, right about there, uh, and I'm going to peel back this rubber, and then I'm just going to reattach these two prongs. To that wire. They don't mind losing two feet of cord. And uh, also being replaced the filters, fixing the rewind mechanism. It's sturdy and nasty, but thankfully not damaged. Old belt. You can see it's shaped all weird like this. Looks like that. Brush roll has been repaired. Let's see. I'll show you. I'm going to show you just how well this thing spins. Put it right here. Very easy spin. So, uh, stay tuned and I will make more videos.